This is a video for Science 7. We're looking at how sedimentary rocks form. So this jar represents some sand and silt and clay that has been mixed up by a big rainfall. And then we've sped this up. This next section is actually takes about an hour for all these sediments to fall down and, and settle out of the water. Big pieces like the sand settle out first, but it takes quite a bit longer for smaller pieces like the silt, like the clay, to eventually uh, settle down to the bottom of our jar here. We'll get some fairly clear water on top, uh, and eventually this water would either run off or be evaporated. So you can see eventually even the really, really fine particles will settle out over time and the water will evaporate away and you're left with a, you know, a nice layer of silt. And these will build up over time and so we get a layer and then it will rain again and you'll get another layer of silt on top and another layer. And maybe, you know, a lizard will get stuck underneath the next layer, and the next one, and the next one. And these layers of mud and silt, they weigh a lot, and, you know, more and more water evaporates. And eventually, they will compress down, and the layers will cement together. until you get some sedimentary rock with a lot of layers. And sometimes we can even find a fossil inside. Now our layers aren't really like, a, you know, pink and orange sponge paper, but we'll get layers like in the sandstone where it's easy to flake them apart. You might also get uh, some mudstone or siltstone and you can find a lot of uh, sedimentary rocks that form in layers like this.